Hey everybody, it's Andrew the Moo, and I've got no choice but to fight this guy. So why don't we jump into the battle? And uh, as we play some more Shovel Knight. In the last episode, we fought against King Knight. We gave him a trouncing, and I fouled up in going to the left. <laughs> I mean, that's honestly what happens. Like, go left, young man, go left. And I went left, but I went the wrong left. I went as wrong left as you probably could. Ooh, that was... Oh, nope, nope. I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? No, I'm not gonna get hit, actually. Alright, nail that dragon. Dragon. Oh, I meant to hit him that time. Come on. Ole! And this little guy right here. Count. Boop him. You know, boop him on the head. That's what you get. Whoa! Oh, that was close. I almost got taken out. But I defeated these groups of enemies. And so now I'm trying to think, do I want to go ahead and take on Spectre Knight or do we want to jump into the town? Why don't we go ahead and fight Spectre Knight, okay? We'll, we'll deal with the other in just a moment. As we get into dark, spooky territory. And the music kind of reflects that. I've got kind of a Castlevania feel to the music right now. As I see one of the enemies I hate most of all in this game, the Electro Frog. Which is running away from me. Ha, ah, take that. Ah, no! Ow. Stupid frog, no! Uh, I get hit again. I, I, I are good at this game. I are the best. You know, no one is better than me at this. I... Taking hits from all the frogs. Alright. Just go ahead and scoot past those ghosts and head into the labyrinthian area. That's a bomb, isn't it? Yep. Yep, yeah, that's a bomb. And this is a bomb too, isn't it? Yep. That's a bomb. And I should be able to jump up here. And in order to get to that, I've got to get this guy out. Cut, no, get over here. Come on, man. Take a hit. Take take it like a man. You were once a warrior, weren't you? All right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that from right here. Nope. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to do without that treasure. Sometimes that's the way it goes. That's just the way that it goes. Oh, no. Now, I should be able to off-screen this, shouldn't I? Hmm. There we go. Let's try this again. So, how is everyone this evening? I know some of you are probably going, what, he's run out of commentary already? He's, 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 he's going, you know, how's everyone doing? He really hasn't done a whole lot. Well, I just want to know, I'm hoping that everyone's having a great day. I had a good day today. I uh, didn't do a whole lot. Although I did watch a movie from my childhood, one that I remember somewhat fondly, uh, by the name of Short Circuit, star Johnny Five. And if you haven't ever seen that movie, then, well, you know, you're missing out on great cinema. Uh, Short Circuit was one of those movies starred Steve Gutenberg, and, uh, of course, there was a uh, robot in it by the name of Johnny Five. Uh, it's this guy. Uh, come on, can, can you... Nope, nope, nope. All right. Because I think I can do this. I've done this before, and, I, yeah... That's it. all you gotta do to defeat that guy. If you can just grab him while he's on the upswing, you'll be good to go. You may watch that today, and I'm trying to decide whether or not, after I'm done recording, whether I want to watch the second one or not. Haven't quite decided just yet. Thinking I may watch it, I don't know. The second one was not as good as the first one. But anyway, it's something I thought about doing today. You know, Spectre Night. Here we are in, you know, kind of a dark, spooky, cashless area. And I like the aesthetics of this level and kind of a lot of the stuff they pull off, which I like a lot of the aesthetics in this game, period. All right, that's where that frog went. Uh, all right, so I can drop on him. I'm usually one that just kind of speeds through this area. I don't like the darkness for too long. And I know that kind of made me sound like a huge pansy, like, I don't like the darkness, mommy. What I mean by that is, I don't like areas where my character could easily and quickly die. But I like the general aesthetic of this level. I, I typically like kind of dark games without, you know, or let me rephrase that. I, I like dark games like Castlevania games and things of that nature. You know, I, I love games like that, and that's what this reminds me of is kind of a Castlevania game, so to speak. And I think that's one of the uh, responses they were going for in making these levels. So, I saw Kit show me how to do this. 
That's right, Survival Kit. If you're watching this, you showed me how to do that. I am so going to die if I try this. I know I am. And she's going to laugh at me. About... Uh... Ah! I fell to my doom! No! I'm not going back for those. I should have the $500 question, uh, the $500 item, which is the uh, music sheet, so there's at least that. So I don't have to worry about that per se, and frankly, I'm not going to. I'm just going to jump on this and be on my merry way. Yeah, I know I lost a lot of money just then. Leave me alone. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that dude's head could lead to a lot of problems. Oh, looky here. What will happen if I drop anchor? Let's find out. Now, why to fish does it use up my magic? I haven't figured that out. But lo and behold, it uses up some of my magic. And oh, stay with thy fork knight. I bring gifts from the Trouple King. That's right, it's the Trouple King. Trouple, not the Trouple. It's not a mouthful, it's a mouthful. Yeah, well, we found the little, little guy anyway, and he was willing to help us. All right, frog. Oh, oh that, had, that was, I was worried there for a moment. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. But I like really dark games like this, and oh, we're facing this up again. That was honestly very close. All right, there's a beetle right there. I need to give it just a few seconds before I try to make this jump. There we go. And he's turned over and he's dead. Love the Castlevania games. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. One of my absolute favorite games of all time. Oh, that's not going to work. So I've got to... You know, I'm going to do that. That way it at least works out in my favor. I've got some time to get some shoveling done. But yeah, Symphony of the Night, one of my favorite all-time games. One of the first games I beat on the PlayStation. Really hate the fact that I no longer own it. And I'm still kind of... I'm, I'm still kind of salty about that. I let a friend of mine borrow it when I was in high school, and uh, I never got it back. And to this day, I have not seen it since. One of the reasons why I don't lend video games out to individuals unless I really, really trust them. Uh, I mean, that was like, you know, a really good game. It's not like I, I handed him Bubsy 3D, which I do own, by the way. You know, it's not like I handed him that game and just like, oh yeah, have fun, play this. It's, you know, it's Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, man. And I lost it. We find Chester right here, and he's got all the deals for us. We're not going to believe what's in that chest. The phase locket, one of my favorite items in this game. In fact, I'm going to be using that a lot. I'm going to be using it right here to get past these frogs, because I really don't feel like messing with them right now. All right, what's in here? Up, oh, it's a bomb. You know, I should have seen if I could, uh, I could make that bomb go boom on them, but I didn't. Oh well. Not the worst thing in the world. I think there's chicken right here, probably. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I needed it anyway, but I did it anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the treasure chest right here. Gonna bounce up on this and send that into the brimy, brimy deep. Drop down here. Drop down here. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's drop. Uh, let's dig this up and grab these right here. That revealed a ghost. Yeah, that revealed a ghost. I didn't mean to reveal a ghost there. Not going to worry about fishing. Oh, well. All right. I think it's right here that you drop straight down. And, oh, boy, it's this guy again. Sup, guy. How are you? Go ahead and do that big jump. While you're doing that, I'm going to grab these, and then I'm going to bounce on your head. I'm going to boop you a bunch of times. I'm going to bounce off your head, and I'm going to grab all the goodies that you have for us. And I thank you for your contribution to the Shovel Knight Tries to Save Shield Knight Fund. Your donation has been duly noted. And yeah, this is the part of this level that is the most problematic, if I remember correctly. All right. Yep. Go ahead and take them out. Take them out. Yeah, this is the part where I more often than not die, so of course I'm probably going to end up dying a couple of times on, uh, or trying to do this for you guys. But that that's kind of one of the reasons you watch videos, isn't it? You want to see people fail. 
right? That that's kind of the attraction of Let's Plays. Oh wow, I'm dead center on that thing. I'm kind of shoo shot. All right. Um. All right. I am doing far better at this than I probably have any right to be doing right now. Oh, okay. All right, I, I actually made it through there without dying once. I am slightly shocked. In a good way, mind you, but I am shocked nonetheless. And with that, now we have the opportunity to fight against the next boss, Spectre Knight. This is no place for the living, mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. He's kind of like the Grim Reaper Knight, obviously. You know, sickle and everything. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved Shield Knight. The dude, that's adding salt to the wound, all right? Lies. I won't believe such tales from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. The Enchantress is just full of surprises. Granted me new... She granted me new life. So that I may take yours. All right, time to fight against this dude. Uh, this... Kind of, kind of disappointed in myself just then how I, I just got hit just kind of like that. And, uh, yeah, that's right. I can't, I can't dodge, but not dodge. I can't duck. I had forgotten about that. Something, mate. All right. Glad to hit you. And you're glad to hit me in return, I, I see. All right. Go ahead and throw that again. You're going to do that. And I'm going to... Wow, I am just, I am, I am good at this game. All right, got that guy defeated, and, uh, so far, all the hits that he's brought on me have not been through the sickle. It's been through, like, me just being stupid and getting hit by him as he goes by. All right, let's, let's, let's try to hit him and uh, at least hit that guy. I'll, I'll, I, I, I won't say I'm impressed with myself, but, uh... All right, these guys are dead now. In a few moments, he should end up turning off all the lights. All right. All right, there we go. That's kind of the way I'm used to dealing with him. All right, come on. I'm doing a whole lot better in... I was about to say, I'm doing a lot better in dodging his sight than I used to, and as soon as I say that, I get hit. So, I mean, you know, good job, Moo. Okay, take that guy out. and Come on over this way. Let me hit you in the face. Let me hit you again, and... All right. Ah, no, that didn't work out well for me. All right, so only, I, only, only, I only need, like, two more hits on this guy. I can pull that off, no problem. Okay, well, whatever. And with that, the Spectre Knight is defeated, and he falls to the ground. And the other skeletons run away because they're like, ah, we're not going to take this guy on again. Anyway, that is Spectre Knight, and I think what we'll do is we'll go to town real quick, and I think we got one more dream coming up. we got a nice little treasure chest sitting right there with us. So Shovel Knight falls asleep. Time for us to go into dreamland. We want to catch our fair maiden. As Shield Knight is falling again. Now, what's different from this time around, from what we did last time, is where while uh, Shield Knight is falling to her, I won't say her doom, we got to deal with a bunch of enemies. And I want to get to the middle because I don't know where she's going to be falling. Where is she? She's going to come down in just a moment. I have got to reach her. Uh, well, that's going to be a whole lot easier than I thought. And I, I, I caught her, technically. She landed on my shoulders, kind of the, the, the broad part of my back, so that, that's good enough, I guess. And again, like I said in the last two episodes, be sure you take care of that. And now we have a meal ticket. We can visit the gra gastrometer. And so we're going to do that now, real quick, as we're going to visit the gastrometer. As the map clears up for us and things have opened up to two of the levels I hate more than anything. But we'll deal with those in just a moment. We're wanting to go here first. And let's go ahead and visit our our bard. Four music sheets, 2,000 gold. We'll be glad to take that. Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. Now that I have this music sheet, uh, we can play it any time. 
So now we're going to visit the gastrometer, and we have a meal ticket. And yes, he's going to prepare for us a nice little meal for us to eat. Yeah, pork. All right, I'll take that. Now, do you have anything for us? Yes, I will be glad. No, I'm going to wait on buying that meal ticket just yet. Uh, yes. So with that, we have increased magic. I'm going to wait on doing that again. And so we head down real quick. There are two things I want to do. First of all, remember this guy? King Knight reigns no more. Huzzah! Now I can rule Prime Door. Hoorah! I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky. They probably can't wait to see me. We may have killed them, but sure. And now, remember her? She said she would give her greatest gift if we were to defeat Specter Knight. You defeated Specter Knight? Now behold my greatest treasure. Dance! Oh yeah! That's two episodes in a row we've had to dance. The Trapple King's been dancing and oh, she kind of booted us to the side. The Trapple King dance for Oh, she, they're all getting into it now. Look at them. And now she's dancing for us. So technically, you know, we also had Nightmare Before Christmas where dancing played a major role in defeating the bosses. And so, you know, dance is, dance is a big thing. And guess what? That's 500 more bucks for us. So that's going to be good. And if you didn't get it the first time. But before we close out this episode, what I want to do is I traveled with some horse adventurers but they were all so negative. That's right, guys. Puns. Guess how we're going to start the next episode? More puns. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you have a great day. See you then.